right, let's see. Maybe I should just try it here. All right, I'm going to go ahead and go ahead and short at 95. All right, not I saw it up there at big figure. Um, that would have been better, of course, but uh, it looks like it kind of already touched and maybe you know on its way lower. So I just grabbed it at 95, looking for a move back to the one minute box, the 75 area, looking for that. Let's see if we can get it. That was a nice little pop up there off the L7. We also got Euro Yen up against a level here at 45. So we got the euros up against some resistance. Uh, I can see people taking this short here. You're up against an hour L7, in fact. Let me slide over. I mean, that's that's looking like a pretty decent little euro yen short as well. Hey, what's up, everybody? Hey, Hugh. Thank you, sir. Hey, Tony. Angle's on the board. What's up, brother? Uh, he's also in at 98. All right, good deal. So let's watch this drop. Euro yen's already started its drop from 45 to around 36 now. That's that's had a pretty good drop. Euro at 89.90 now. All right, so the first obstacle is going to be this 87 slow car. We want it to drop below that uh, and float on down to our 75.76. Didn't really get time to uh, say hey to everybody, but uh, hey. <laughs> I just kind of saw a trade right away. We're at 88.89 now, plus 6. We just followed the news release of, uh, you know, the non-farm unemployment change. ADP, I mean, came out at 170. So it looks like our ADP is predicting a loss of 170,000 jobs. ISM manufacturing came a little under the PMI, came a little bit below expectations. Not by much, just a little bit. Well, let's see. We're back to break even. And, of course, my stop is just over this three-column roadblock here. So about a 10-pip stop. And uh, I would like to get down to the one-minute box. So, I mean, when we entered, we had a 20-pip target. Now it's you know, maybe 18, and it's going to shrink as time goes on. Hey, Anil. How's it going, Conwall? How's it going, Ali? All right, I'm doing good. Doing good. Glad to see everybody. Anil took 11 on Euro Yen. Very nice. Very good. That was good, too. I, I mean, I thought about doing that one as well. All right, so we're at 89 again, plus 6 on Euro. Looking for a lower low. Here's 88. At 87, 88, here's 87. So starting to work ourselves lower now. That's plus 8 right now. All right, exit half at 85, plus 10. And there's 84, too late. That's okay. I'm still letting this other half run. One minute box is at 80. Still at 83, 84. All right, here's 80, 79, 80, plus 15. We're at the one-minute box. We're at the one-minute white zone. And then again, we're at 79, 80, plus 15. I'm just going to clear it. Plus 15 out of that. All right. Uh, too bad, Billy. That's all right. We'll try to get another one going here. Um, I won't be surprised if it goes lower. In fact, there's 78, 79, 78 even. So still going lower. Looks like it would have been that 20 pip trade had we held on a little bit longer. But this isn't looking bad for a long trade either uh, in this area. So, wow, here's 72, 3. Man, another few seconds. We could have another 10 pips. Here's 72. That's 23 pips up on the trade. It's all right. We still took some good points. But that could have been all we needed to do today. Uh, Dave took six and eight on Euro. All right, bad entry. That's okay. All right, Ali. Good man. You got it. Mohammed took 20. You got it, man. My pleasure. Hugh took 10 on half, 15 and a half on the rest.
Good job, Hugh. Nice trade, everybody. Here's 71. Goodness, it's really falling. I'm thinking I'm going long. 